So I think every science uh, program that I've done has had a major research component. You spend one quarter doing preliminary reading and outlining your research component and accumulating that with a research proposal. And then the quarter following that is when you actually get to do the lab time. That's when you actually get to uh, work on whatever your project is. You can go on the field, you can uh, synthesize things in the lab, you can analyze things on instruments. In molecule to organism, one big component of the spring quarter is a student-led research project. And so with another student, I did a research project in which we studied microbial fuel cells. At the end of the year, we ended up designing our own projects, and you could kind of choose whichever route you really deemed was like, you know, your favorite, and kind of like pick and choose and design your own project. At Evergreen, there is a lot of room for doing undergraduate research, so undergraduate students will go and work in the laboratories of teaching faculty and pursue the, the research goals of those faculty by learning new techniques, applying what they have learned. And it's very self-driven. I have a project that I work on and I supplement it with a lot of polymer chemistry theory. I do readings and then I do a lot of lab work and I'm also working on presenting research in, through different outlets. You can either work with a, a pre-established project that say a faculty member is doing research and they need some help with it um, or you a lot of times have the option to actually go on and uh, make your own project and do the research into how to how to start the project, inform your own questions for what you want to look at, so what you want to study, what kind of background you need for it. In the case of the research that I've done, a lot of times what I've been able to do is to say, to pick a, a pest insect that um, the organic farm here on campus is dealing with. And in my own time and my own like personal time essentially outside of class, I did the research and then I made a project, got some help from another student in class and my teachers essentially said, go with it. So I've worked with students who've designed contracts that they wouldn't have been able to do anywhere else because they were putting together pieces of their education and moving it um, and moving it forward. And there, it's unlikely that there would be students who had had that particular combination. So it wasn't going to show up in a program for them anyway. Uh, it's been really amazing to be able to pursue my own project, uh, especially at the organic farm. Uh, being able to build such a large scale project uh, is something that I, I haven't been, I don't think many people have the ability to do at a tr more traditional school. You are coming into laboratories where you're going to be doing real work potentially novel work or pursuing novel questions and you're still an undergraduate and so you, you don't have all of the, the knowledge and all the techniques but it's an incredible learning experience. For the students who want to go out and do graduate work, it's the only way you can find out whether you really want to do graduate work because that's going to be your life for the next many years. Taking a project, going through all of the frustrations of the errors you're going to make, the adjustments you have to do to re redesign your experiment and uh, constantly fine tuning it until you can collect some data and make sense out of it. I mean, that process is invaluable for you to figure out whether that's what you want to do for the rest of your life.